Hey, how's it going? It's Jim from Corbin Sound here with Ableton Quick Tip number three, Duplicate Time. Today I'm going to show you a handy way of progressing your tracks along using a feature that may be familiar to you but with a slight twist. I'm going to demonstrate using a project I made in Live 10 using samples from the Loop Masters mixtape pack, which is available in the pack section. And if you're a Live 10 user, you can find this in your Ableton user account online at ableton.com or available in this area here, which should spring up for you to download. Let's have a listen real quick to the project I've made. Cool, so let's say I want to keep this track rolling on and duplicate the last eight bars. I can do that by left click and holding to highlight the area that I want to duplicate. There we go, we've got the eight. And if I press Command D on my keyboard, you can see that it's completely transferred everything that was underneath that highlighted area to the edge. And if we can play from the back here, we'll listen to how that sounds. Although this is great for the end of our track where we can duplicate into an empty area of our arrangement, a problem will arise if we want to do that anywhere else inside of our track. So let's say we want to duplicate the first eight bars and double the intro, and I'm going to repeat the same process that we did a second ago by highlighting and pressing Command D now. As you can see, we've now duplicated those eight bars, but they've muscled their way into the existing arrangement and not pushed the rest of the track along. To remedy this, I will press Command Z to undo the duplicate I just made, and instead press Shift Command D over my highlighted eight bar region. And now you can see the track moves along to make way for the duplicated area, where I can now continue to edit and arrange the track to taste. It's also possible to access this feature by grabbing the loop brace underneath the beat ruler, and defining the area you want to duplicate by placing the star and end points where you desire. And when you right click the body now, here you'll find duplicate time and our key command shortcut that we used a second ago. A small tip on using duplicate time is that we don't actually have to highlight the entire project area that we want duplicated to perform this task. We can simply just highlight in a blank area of our arrangement on any channel, hit shift command D, and as you can see, everything underneath it will move. And that's it. If you've liked today's video, be sure to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when our next video drops. Thanks for watching. See you soon.